He is one of only two scholarship players from Southern California on UCLA on their basketball team. Devin Williams joining us on the Bruin Insider Show. For Nick Cope, I'm Brian Fenley. Devin coming off a couple of buckets in a win against USC over the weekend. We're so excited, Devin, to have you on to talk about that game and how life is as a freshman on this team. Thanks for so much for being a part of this. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. So having that performance that you had on Saturday where you – made a couple of buckets, you had a big block, some right. good rebounds. To see how you were able to influence the game in that way, how much was your phone blowing up after that? Um, I mean, yeah, a couple of, a couple of text messages, a couple of notifications <laughs> for sure, but um, that's not really my focus. That's not why, you know, I want to go out there and play so my phone and my social media could be, you know, going crazy. It's just for the love for the game. I love basketball. I love UCLA. Um, I think Coach McCrone is the best coach in the country, so I'm trying to learn this from him as much as possible. And um, It was great to be out there, him giving me opportunity. I'm just trying to build that trust more and keep getting more Ws, absolutely. It was the first time we saw you on the floor in a few weeks, right. but there's so much that goes on in the intervening time for right. you on, yeah. on the practice court. What was all that time like as you're working to stay ready yeah. so you're ready to go out there and perform when you get that moment? I'm just trying to work hard and practice every day, learn as much as I can learn from coach and from other players, like what they're doing out there that I could take and um, maybe even just improve on or do different things that I see. Just trying to just trying to learn different things, being the right spots at the right time. Uh, that's really what one of my main focuses was at SC, just being the right fo Don't do too much. Just do what I can do to help win. One of the things that you recently on Instagram, and by the way, Devin Williams, I think you have over 49,000 followers. <laughs> so if you're watching this, add on to how many followers he has on the gram. But one of the things that you recently posted was you were talking about patience right. and how with patience, all of the puzzle pieces will start to fall together. Right, what does yeah. that look like for you? Um, so obviously I don't get the most playing time. But, um, you know, just got to be patient with the process. Um, keep working hard. Keep doing the right things. Keep learning. Keep grinding. And eventually it'll all start coming together. So that's really what I meant by that. What's your vantage point been like as one of these seven freshmen? You guys are so diverse. Right. You know, Brian mentioned just two Southern California guys. Yeah. You've got Midwest, East Coast, and all the international yeah, guys. Absolutely. What's it been like watching all these guys from different cultures come together? And we're really seeing it pay off on the court these last couple of weeks. Right. Um, I think it's been great, like been easy. Uh, even like Adai, Burke, Jan, Lad, like they're all from different countries. And I've never been around like no one like that ever in my life. So to have teammates like that, I think it's awesome to like understand them, like where they come from, how things are so much different from where they come from from here. It's it's great though. I, we all get along the way. I love them off the floor. They're all great people and couldn't ask for any better teammates. One of those teammates has your last name, but has a right. different first name in Brandon, <laughs> and he is one of those that is from the United States. Right. Having two guys, one being yourself with the last name Williams, what are the perks? Of having two guys on the same team with the last name Williams. <laughs> uh, the perks, I mean, I mean it's cool. You know, the last on our back of our jersey, we got D and B because you know we both have the same last name. But now Brandon's my guy. Um, he works extremely hard. I see him work hard every day in practice, and he's been it's been show it's been proven like he's been doing very well. So uh, um, definitely learning from Brandon as much, just, most definitely, just because he's been playing hard and we're in the same position. So I'm just trying to learn from him as much as possible. But he's a great guy. And I remember our, my first official visit here. Um, he was coming in when mine was ending. And uh, Coach Girl was like, hey, like, this is your uh, long-lost cousin, Brandon. <laughs> 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 but, uh, no, nah, he's a great guy. And it's awesome to have him on the team for sure. We've heard Mick talk a lot about the process for you guys right. and not worrying about the results, but as he works with you guys to get that continued growth, to, right. to focus on the process, what's it been like? And how have you seen that effort from you guys start to pay off here? Because obviously it was tough there for a few weeks, right. but now you guys seem like you've really come together and yeah. you've taken your games to another level. I mean, obviously from last year, a lot of pieces were lost for sure. Um, so it's all about just coming together, um, playing together, doing things off the floor to build more chemistry because, honestly, I just felt like it was a little chemistry thing, but I feel like as we're growing together more and coming together more and understanding that, hey, we have the right pieces to beat anybody in the country and we have the coach to do it, I feel like we're starting to understand that more and more. And I feel like soon, soon enough we're going to be pretty unstoppable. 
I think you're well on your way. Devin Williams is joining us on the Bruin Insider Show, UCLA basketball freshman standout. A piece of you is that you are from the Inland Empire. Right. There have been some great Bruins, whether they're from the Inland Empire or they've been a part of Compton Magic, one of the greatest Absolutely. AAU programs, yeah. and, and ATOP and, and what he does yeah. over there running that AAU program. But if I'm watching you play, Devin, how am I going to know right now that that man is from the Inland Empire and the way he plays, the style, the physicality? Um. I mean, if you're from there and you've been there, then you, I kind of get you kind of just know there's a bunch of great players that went to all different type of colleges, different high schools in the Inland Empire. So it's kind of like that swagger that you're supposed to have. Um, like I'm on Compton Magic, I'm one of like the youngest kids from the Inland Empire. Like Johnny Juzang, he you know he played with Compton Magic. Jalen Clark, I.E. Jalen Hill, I.E. All those guys, Inland Empire. So I mean, watching those guys like while I was a young kid going to like. A game to watch them play in the Inland Empire. I was like, you know, I want to be just like those guys because I'm just like, I'm a young guy watching Jalen Clark dunk the ball when I'm in the seventh grade. I'm screaming out of my mind. So definitely just wanted to be a part of that. It kind of just comes with the swag. You know, I went to Corona Centennial, um, developed a lot there from Josh Giles, great guy, great coach. Um, so it kind of was just built, really. That's just my impression. But is it fair to say, guys from the IE, there's a little bit of chip. Uh, on the shoulder absolutely because you, you guys aren't from the prep schools of la not, so. not at all not at all so we really like we've seen a bunch of people as it was my sophomore year posting a bunch of you know kids out of la you know they were great players absolutely but we you know we just felt like we deserved more recognition because we we just had that chip on our shoulder and we were winning a lot of games and i felt like you know we just deserved it but you know it is what it is can't do much about it but being from the ie is definitely special for sure Absolutely. You mentioned Jalen Clark. He is awfully special. Right. Former Bruin, now on to the NBA, and somebody that you've had a chance to watch and get to know as a yeah. role model and as a player with the way he plays. You said when you were younger getting a chance to watch him dunk. Right. How old were you, and what was the environment like? Break it down for us the first time you dunked, where you were, when it happened, and how all of that went down. My first dunk was actually with Compton Magic. I was in the seventh grade. Um, in Anaheim, I remember my mom was right there. Um, it was the first game of the 15U Magic. We had a bunch of great players on that team, stuff like that. So I remember I'm guarding the ball, and I, I reach and I get a steal, and I'm like, all right, this is me in the rim. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, am I going to dunk it? I was like, all right, I went up to dunk it, and it felt great. It felt great. Honestly, my dad was right there cheering me on. My trainer was right there, and my coach was hype. It was awesome. It was my first dunk. Like, my mom was recording it. I could just hear her reaction in the background when I watched it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. But... Jalen Clark, I used to watch all the time. Me and my friend, me and all my best friends used to just go watch Centennial games. Seventh grade, like, this is awesome. The environment, Centennial, like the whole Inland Empire would go to the game. You've got this enviable makeup where you've got the length and size to play in the post, but you've got skills of a wing as well. Right. I know you haven't been here all that long, all things considered, but I'm curious, conversations with the coaching staff, like long-term, the player that you hope to be here at UCLA and what that right. looks like. Um, honestly, just being the best version of myself from no matter where that position is, um, I feel like they would tell me, you know, the best position for myself. And honestly, I'm just trying to learn as much as I can, whether it's post games, skill work, shooting, defense, um, understanding different parts of the game that I really never even unlocked in high school. Um, all comes from Mick Cronin. And, um, I mean, he, he shows me a lot of different sides of the game that I really didn't know about. And I'm just trying to learn more and more and more and be a sponge, honestly. So, I mean, wherever the position is that I end up being forever, how long, I would obviously just trying to be on the floor and just trying to get as many wins as possible for sure. Last one for me, and Devin Williams is with us on the Bruin Insider Show. You mentioned the high praise going to, to Mick Cronin and the influence that he's had on you and, right. and us even as fans and watching what he's doing, building this program. How about the first time you and him hit it off? Right. When you got the recruiting process started, what was that like getting to meet him for the first time and developing that relationship? Uh, my first unofficial, I would say, um, really my first phone call with him. You know, we were talking, um, I think it was after one of my games, and then my first unofficial, I felt like me and all the coaches just clicked, like, right then and there. I felt like, damn, like, this really feels like home. Then it led to me getting on to an unofficial, I mean, official visit. Now it really feels like home. So it was like, okay, yeah, like, I mean, 
I I used to be a fan of Coach Cronin. Like when I was little, I would watch Tiger and High May, like because they've been here. And I was a young cat, like in high school, sophomore, watching them and just seeing Coach Cronin on the sidelines, seeing all those guys. Like I was a fan, and being able to get recruited by him and feeling like a family and being able to click with the coaching staff it just felt great. It just felt no better choice but to learn from the best coach in the country to me. So easy. And you guys are all clicking right now. Right. One of my favorite moments from the game on Saturday at USC is when you and Adai came in. That scramble for the loose ball yep. that ends with the shot clock violation. Yeah. You guys are right in front of the bench and everybody's going nuts. Why was that image and sequence perhaps emblematic emblematic of where you guys are right now as a team? Uh, I feel like uh, for that game, I just flipped the whole game around me. I feel like we just wanted more than most teams. Like we're going to dive on the floor. We're going to get stops. We're going to play defense. We're going to do whatever it takes to get the win. And that just shows, like, how much passion we have for the, the game, how much passion we have to get stops, um, just doing our best we can to get a W, really. We've seen a lot of Ws lately. More to come. Absolutely. And look forward to seeing more of you out there on the court Thank as you. well. It. Devin Williams with us. Nick Cope. I'm Brian Fenley here on the Bruin Insider Show. Of course, Devin, freshman with this Bruin basketball team. Thanks so much, Devin, for doing this. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.